is Navid from Wood for Guitarists. We're going to continue learning Farid al Asraj Taksim al Rabia. This is part three. This is the section where Farid goes into a different maqam. Up to this point in the Taksim, Farid has been playing in maqam Bayati. Now he's going to go into a different maqam, but before he did that, he finished with a nice rich ending. <laughs> Here, we see a pattern in Farid's playing. He started off nice and slowly. First he was playing in Maqam Bayati. Now, in this section, he's playing in Maqam Oshak. This is where he plays the notes G, A, B quarter flat, C, D. Now this is Jin's Rast on G. He starts off by playing a nice melody, nice and slow, takes his time. And he plays it on one octave higher, then he plays it on another octave lower. This uh, gives it some time to settle and puts repetition into the mind of the audience. So Makam Oshak is D, E quarter flat, F, G, A, B quarter flat, C, and D. And it also uses B flat as well in different parts. But in this section, Farid is playing Makam Oshak, and he's playing really in between two different notes, G and D. This is what differentiates Makam Oshak from Makam Bayati. Makam Bayati is always in this range. But Makam Oshak uses Jins Rast on G. So imagine it this way. He's playing between these two notes. G and D, and these two notes are kind of playing catch together. They're throwing notes back and forth from each other, and he's, Farid's playing in between these notes. And when he goes beyond the octave, beyond D, the high D, he sometimes adds different notes, like E flat and F natural. And this is kind of going into a different maqam as well. And sometimes he plays E natural on top of that too, to change it up. Now, there's a nice passage in here that I'd like you to learn. It's really nice and rhythmical. As you can see, he plays a lot of rhythmical passages in here. This section where he goes... It's very beautiful. It's pretty easy to play too. So you start out with a tremolo burst on A. Upstroke on C, downstroke on B quarter flat, upstroke on C, then downstroke on open A, then tremolo burst on A, on the higher A, and then you just repeat. So listen. Just repeat that over and over again. Then he plays. back up to D. So you can really see that he's playing all in Jin's Rast on G. And you can always hear this 
chord behind what he's playing. Now let's listen to the ending of this section. So we can see that Fadi is playing all these different melodies up in this Jins Rast. Then he goes back into Makam Bayati very quickly. It's almost as though nothing different happened. He just goes right back into it very quickly. And so this is kind of surprising for the audience as well. And he plays that melody which I taught you. D, this is when he starts to add some tremolo and makes it really exciting and then he goes back into Makam Bayati by adding, by descending the Makam and using B flat. So he goes up to D and he plays this nice pull off of Makam Bayati in D, then he does his signature finish. Now this section was very intense, but there's a couple of things that I want you to take away from it. First, again, Farid started out really slowly. He created a nice beautiful melody, and then he slowed down, and then he built it up. Now this section was important because this is the part of the taxing where Farid modulated. He went from Makam Bayati to Makam Oshak and the main focus of his melody making was on Jins Ras on G G A B quarter flat C D Next week is going to be the finale of the Taksim and you're going to learn this really exciting section where Fadid plays really high and fast up on the top of the neck <laughs> show you how to play it no matter what level of oud playing you're at. Thanks and see you next time.